Hi, everyone, and welcome to Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today is Joe Duran with Wabash and Lake Advertising. Joe, thanks so much for joining us today. Charlene, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So tell us a little bit about what you do. And of course, I'm curious about the name as well. Uh, so I was heavily influenced by Chicago growing up. My father's job, we went East Coast, West Coast, and um, always found us having one TV option that was universal across all the markets, and it was WGN. I got to become a Chicago fan no matter where our family was. <laughs> and uh, I became enamored by Chicago and uh, just fell in love with it and got off the L one day at the corner of Wabash and Lake and said, one day I'll do something with that name. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so what are you doing with that name? So we started off as a, a full-service ad agency. I've been in the advertising marketing media for 28 years now. It it's, feels much longer than that. Um, but we started off as a full-service agency and it quickly saw that you know, the ad agency model is uh, not one that our clients need. You're only as good as your idea. The ad agency could be disposable. And uh, I quickly saw that we, our role has evolved and it needs to be more of a fractional chief marketing officer. That's the role we play for our companies. We do that in a fractional marketing team support role as well, and also ad agency consultant at the same time. So when clients are coming to you and they need you to fix something, something's not working, what is the pain point that you see like, all right, that's what we got to tackle first? Broken sales funnel almost every mm. single time. It's uh, They have the wrong priority set for where digital should be, where awareness should be. Sometimes the questions come up, do I even need this thing called SEO and what is it? And that is actually a conversation we had just less than a week ago with a existing longstanding business. So we help them build a better sales funnel. We identify those holes in that sales funnel and patch them so that they're as efficient as possible. The uh, joke that ongo is ongoing about me is that if you give me $10, I'll spend about eight fifty, and then we'll find another way to reinvest that buck fifty and double your returns. Uh, so it's all about that efficiency. If you have a hole in your funnel, especially in the digital landscape, you're going to serve that momentum right to your competition every single time. So the better and tighter your funnel is, the better your returns are. I think every digital marketer kind of rolled their eyes and sighed with you when you said you had to explain the value of SEO to a client. But so many things are changing on the digital landscape that it, it really is half the battle is keeping your clients educated as to why you're making these decisions, why you're moving in this direction. So I want to ask you, what are you looking at over the next couple of years that's coming up in the digital space that you're telling your clients and maybe your colleagues or your staff, hey, guys, we got to get ahead of this before we don't want to be on the on the reactive side of this. What are you looking out for that may impact your business? That's a great question. And in our role, we don't just provide one service or one tactic or one product. Because we look at everything for our clients, that's a really challenging question. And so we have to continue looking ahead. And it, basically, it comes down to fear of missing out and lack of education on the business's side. They hear that, oh, all the kids are on TikTok. Therefore, we need TikTok. But your target audience is 55 plus and you're talking to retirement homes. You may not need TikTok. <laughs> Um, help them understand the priority of where maybe SEO does lie in their sales funnel, the, uh, the amount of spend they should be uh, giving to PPC. But one of the biggest challenges that we see coming up is probably the post-privacy era is what I like to call it. Uh, people are becoming more and more aware of the amount of data that is collected from your devices, from your, your digital life, and what to be done with it. Um, we actually see just in the past two weeks, Google has been sending out emails uh, talking about new uh, bills that are coming up, new legislation talking about separating the ability for Google to truly see analytics and connect your business to Google My Business uh, to be better found. Um, there's a middle ground somewhere, and I, I, we're really watching this one because I think it's going to impact you know, the businesses and people, individuals moving forward. Uh, I kind of think the cat's out of the bag. We're never going to be able to truly walk away from the importance of analytics and data collection, but there's got to be a, a middle ground and people need better education of what is actually being borrowed from them, if you will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's always changing. Well, Joe, thanks so much for taking the time to share all of this knowledge with us today on Digital Champions. 
My pleasure. Good stuff. And so if you'd like to learn more about what Joe is up to at Wabash and Lake Advertising, you can check him out on dailyedbrief.com. That's going to do it for us today on Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and we look forward to learning something new with you next time. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's Addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.